find the key to the castle in the clams. Well, hello! Check out my latest invention, Robo Buddies! My Robo Buddies make cool patterns. But what comes next in the pattern? Well, each new stack of robots is one more than the stack before. Observe. Two is one more than one. Three is one more than two. Four is one more than three. So what's one more than four? Oh, I know! Five is one more than four. We figured out the pattern! Excelsior! Now my robots have high-tech displays built in. Now what comes next? Well, just like before, we look for the pattern. Here, each displayed number is one less than the last number. Nine is one less than ten. Eight is one less than nine. Seven is one less than eight. And six is one less than seven. Eureka! I get it now! My Robo Buddies are so helpful! You're, You're welcome. welcome. What is one less than six? Amazing! What is one more than four? You got it right. Hey guys. Ooh! Monsterific! What? Is one what is one more than two? Three munchkins. <laughs> <laughs> What is one more than six? Seven munchkins! <laughs> what is one less than four?
What is one more than seven? Whoa! Good job! Super! What is one less than seven? What is one less than seven? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven. Now we can count back one. Six. Six is one less than seven. What is one more than one? That's correct! What's up, Bestie? Oh. <laughs> Way to go! Let's explore the castle! This level is part of Adapted Mind Super Skills. Come on, Arjun always says he eat his homework. This is just as yummy. Um, Rolfie, how did you do on the test? I made so many mistakes. Oh, me too. I was trying to destroy the evidence. Um, great idea. Where's the pet? Hey, what's that? Down because you've made some mistakes? Visit the school mistake factory if you've got what it takes. Miss Einstein. Everyone says it's a cool place. Let's check it out. Mistake factory? <sighs> Sounds horrible! Flashlights? Check! First aid kit? Check! Incredimonster action figure? What? Mistakes are scary! We might need backup. Welcome to the Mistake Factory! It can be tempting to run from your mistakes. Where's that voice coming from? Oh, I don't know, but running sounds like a great idea right now. But running from mistakes can easily turn a friend into a fright. <gasps> if instead you embrace your mistakes as learning opportunities, they'll help you become incredible. Am I dreaming? I don't think so. But, Miss Incredimonster, ma'am, how can mistakes be our friends? No offense. Yeah, isn't making mistakes kind of the opposite of being incredible? Well, not really. When scientists studied the brain, they learned that the connections between your neurons grow. Even when you make mistakes. So we want to make mistakes? What you want to do is challenge yourself. And if you're tackling a challenge, it's normal to make mistakes. But since making a mistake means that your brain is growing, then there's no reason to feel defeated. Especially if you use your mistake to see what you did wrong, so you can do better next time. Ah! 
but it's hard not to get upset by mistakes. They're not all this friendly. Yeah, sometimes kids laugh or your parents get mad. It's very sad when they do because when you make a mistake and you think it's a scary bad thing, your brain doesn't grow very much. But if you make a mistake and think, my brain is like a muscle, and mistakes help it grow, your neurons send lots more energy boosts, which means your brain grows lots more than if you let yourself feel defeated. I guess we shouldn't feed these guys our tests, should we? Nah, but if we review them with Miss Einstein, maybe our neurons will get so energized that they'll make electricity spill out my nose. I don't think that's what spills out your nose. But let's try it! Whee! <laughs> Whee! Thanks, Thanks so much, much Incredible Monster. Monster! No problem. How about you? How do you handle your mistakes? So, what do you do when you make a mistake? I use my mistake to learn. I feel defeated. It depends. Good point. Not all mistakes are the same. If I mess up because I'm being sloppy, I know I need to focus more. But if I'm trying my best and I still make a mistake, I remind myself it's a chance to learn and I get help from a parent or teacher. From now on, I'm going to think of my mistakes as chances to learn. But what's actually happening in my brain when I make a mistake? My brain is growing. That's right! Scientists studying the brain have learned that when you make a mistake, the connections between your neurons get stronger, which helps your brain grow. Riding my bike without a helmet seems like a bad mistake that I would not want to make. When Incredimonster said that mistakes are our friends, did she mean all mistakes? No. You're right! Any mistake that can hurt you or other people, like biking without a helmet, is not cool. Incredimonster was talking about common mistakes we make in life, like messing up on a test or having a misunderstanding with a friend. If we accept and study those mistakes, we can learn so much! So, if I want my brain to grow, what's the best thing to tell myself when I make a mistake? That I can learn from it. Exactly! When you remember mistakes are great learning opportunities, it actually helps you learn better. Don't forget to study what you did wrong so you can do better next time. Find the key to the castle in the clams.